Yo, what is going on guys? It's Chrome Game Development here, and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to make backgrounds for your game. And as you know, with popular visual novels, there is often 3D backgrounds and 3D people posed, and you're probably wondering how to do stuff like that. And basically this is all done with a background. Um, at least that's how I've did it for the longest time, and I think it's the way most people do it. Maybe I'm a little off on this, but I'm pretty sure... It's the way it is done, and yeah, if you want 3D backgrounds, 3D people, um, this is how you do it. So first of all, it's important to note that when you're creating your backgrounds, it has to be in a certain um, dimension, for example. Like when you hit create new project, you will get this thing here, and it'll tell you um, what size your project is going to be, what resolution. And basically, I do 1920 by 1080, but if you want to do 2560 by 1440 for a little higher quality, um, you could do that, but all your renders would then have to be in that resolution. So, yeah, just know that all your renders will have to be in whatever resolution you pick here. Um, even if you go to the custom one, it'll have to be in that resolution. So ours is at 1920 by 1080 here, which means our images will have to be in 1920 by 1080. But to create a background, it's pretty simple. You just go and do images. Um, you click this images thing here, and it'll launch this. Um, you can see images, and then you just want to drag and drop one over. So we have this lake here. You can see it's 1920 by 1080. We'll just drag it over, and now it is in that folder. And we can go ahead and close this now. Just remember the name of that. Ours is lake. You have to remember the name of your image. And basically, right here at the start, we could define you know, scene, BG, or no, it's just like, scene, like, and that's basically all you need. Sounds really anticlimactic, but it's literally all you need. Um, you can see that's all you have to do is put scene and then the image name, and it'll basically cover the whole background in whatever image you want. So we have this lake here, once again in the code, just scene lake, because that's the name of our image. And we called on that image, and now that is the background of our whole screen. So yeah, that's basically how easy it is. But you're probably wondering how you get 3D versions of these, and that I will show. It is done in a whole different program called Daz, so if you have no interest in working with Daz, and you just want to be completely in RenPy, um, that's up to you. You can figure out how to do it, or if you want 2D characters, um, I'm not sure how to do that either. But for 3D characters, you go to Daz, and that's what I will be showing you. Alright, so once you launch Daz, the first thing you need to do is go to your render settings. Um, and in render settings, you just want to make sure that your render settings are set to 1920 by 1080. So to do that, you just want to go to Advanced... So as soon as you launch Daz, the first thing you're going to want to do as soon as you enter is to basically go to Render Settings, which is over here, click on it, and then go to this Editor um, tab up here, go to General, and make sure the pixel size is set to whatever you decided. So if you want... Um, 1440p renders, you need to set this to 2560 by 1440, but and since we're working with 1920 by 1080, ours is already set, and that is fine, so we are good to go, but just make sure that this is set with the render size that you want, or else, you know, your renders won't look good in the game, it'll be too big, too small, something like that, so you have to make sure that this is set right. But once you're done with that, you can just um, start to load up an environment, so you need to go back to your stuff. Um, just go to smart content or whatever you have and then go to whatever sort of things you have here. Um, but first, I guess I should show you how to install stuff that you want to use for your background. Alright, so this is all done in the Daz shop. Um, when you're in the Daz shop, you will look for things you want. Um, for example, you can see there's sometimes free stuff. Um, but if not, you can search for, like, let's say you're looking for an apartment. Um, you can just hit apartment, search it up, and you will eventually get some apartments that you can browse. Um, this is the one I have here. Um, you can see how good it looks. 
Um, yeah, it looks just really good, pretty high quality, comes with a lot of stuff, and the last picture shows you the full layout. Um, you can see there's a bedroom, a bathroom, and a pretty big living room slash kitchen. Um, and yeah, it looks nice. So you can add that to your cart and buy it, and then you can um, install it in Daz um, with either the inde the Daz install manager, or you can open Daz Studio and find your product and hit install. Pretty easy. I don't really think I need to go over that. Um, if you're confused, I might make a video on it later, but for now, that is that. And yeah, just basically once you purchase it, install it the way they tell you to install it, and yeah, you're good to go. All right, so now that we're here, as we mentioned, we do have that environment. You can see it here, we have the high clear apartment and it's as simple as just loading it in. That's really as simple as it is. So you can see here, it is loading in. It's not fully done yet, but yeah, you can move around here, get whatever view you want. Um, make sure you selected this one, that way you can move around with the mouse. And yeah, you can basically get a good shot here. For example, something like this that kind of covers the whole room and just click render um, when you are ready to render it. And yeah, you can see this 16.9 box here is basically the area that it will render and show in the picture. So make sure you have that set as you like it and then click render. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I already have the render. Um, you can see it here. We have this render here. And we can go ahead and just save it now that we're done. Um, save it as just BG apartment, or you can just do apartment. Um, we'll just do apartment for this case, and then we are pretty much done here. We can go ahead and close this and open RenPy once again. So yeah, just open RenPy, go to script. Um, well, first and foremost, we need to go to images and go ahead and add that image in so let me do that real quick pull it up see there's the apartment and this is the folder that has there our game in it so yeah you just drag and drop this one now and you can see there we go it is now in the game and now we just need to call on it so instead of lake we're just gonna or we could do both um after this let's just go scene apartment hopefully i spelled that right and yeah just make sure you save it and then you can test this out so just launch the project here hopefully i spelled it right what is your name default patrick and you can see now we're at the apartment to become spider-man so that is basically how you do this stuff obviously if you want characters um you can just drag and drop characters in and i could do a whole bunch of videos about that and posing and stuff but for right now, I just wanted to cover the basics. Um, yeah. So if you want characters in here, for example, um, you just drag and drop them in. I might cover that in a future video, but for now, we're just going over the basic backgrounds. And yeah, I will see you all later. Peace.